You mean there are others like Shino out there? We have a name for the players who have fallen into comas. We like to call them the Lost Ones. The Lost Ones? What is he? An epitaph user? The only thing we know is he's not a regular player. Upon researching the access record for the area, we have found information that matches the three victims, as well as one other unknown player ID, which is suspected to be Triedge. Those records remain on the logs. However, the entry record for the Chaos Gate in the same time period of the attack you just watched shows only three players. In other words, he's getting into areas through means other than a Chaos Gate? Yes, he sure fits the description of a ghost. So, how the hell do we track down someone like that? If we find out anything else, I'll definitely let you know, in exchange. You want me to investigate Ida, right? Okay, fine. I'll do it. Very good. I will notify you of your area of investigation later. You are dismissed. Old Man on Terrace. What is... <laughs> Old Man on Terrace. What does he want? He's at Lumina Cloth, huh? So, you won first round? Yeah. Well, I guess that's only natural. After all, you are my disciple. When did I become your disciple? I want you to meet some people. Hmm? Come. Let's go. Hey, 
Where are we going? To Ecolo's headquarters. Ecolo? A crazy guild where the requirement to join is to be an arena emperor. Why are we going there? Wait a second. You can't get inside other ad homes without a key. Here. This is... Why do you... Shut up. Just shut your mouth and come with me. This guy's an Arena Emperor too? He doesn't look that strong to me. And Terrace, what's the meaning of this? Nothing at all. I just came to show my disciple here the famous Ecolo headquarters. I told you, I'm not your disciple. Listen up, Antares. This is a citadel for the Chosen Ones, a place for brave warriors, not a place where any outsider can just waltz in. Especially not for someone who abandoned Ecolo like you did. Do not disturb our order. Is that what you think, too? Come out and say hello, Taihaku. When did he get here? There's no need to worry. I will honor your intent. After all, you are the founder of Ecolo. This guy, I think I've seen him somewhere. <laughs> That's my Taihaku. Unlike some greenhorn brat. You know your manners. But why not just speak frankly? That Ecolo's order doesn't mean anything. And Terrace, you bastard! Huh, who the hell is this guy? How should I know? We're in the middle of something. Get out of here! Is she a member of Ecolo too? She's an ex Ecolo, just the same as me. Now let's see. She's participating in the Demon Palace tournament like you. So I guess that would mean she'll be one of your rivals as well. Rival? Who? You mean this? He looks weak. What did you say? <laughs> You're the one messing around. What are you, some kind of noob? Don't you know the name Alcade, Demon Palace Emperor? Uh. Former Emperor. Shut the hell up! The current Emperor is Endrance, because you lost to him. Shut up, you stupid telephone pole! I'll reclaim my place! Ha! <laughs> Don't act like a sore loser. Got it? Listen, noob. You and I are on totally different levels. I will be the one to defeat Endrance. There's no place for you in this fight. Like hell! I am gonna be the one to defeat Endrance! What was that? You're talking trash! But when it comes down to it, you lost to him! That's why you left Ecolo. Shut up! I only lost last time because I let my guard down! I'll definitely win against him next time. That's enough, you two. 
Let's go, Haseo. Man, that woman pisses me off. That's the current state of Ecolo. Huh? A guildmaster that has lost his zeal, and members who have nothing at all except for their empty pride. Can this be? Is this the Ecolo that I envisioned? Oh. Uh. When I saw your fight at the arena, when I saw how eagerly you fought, this dried-up old man thought to himself, I thought it would be interesting if he became an emperor. I don't care about what you find interesting or not, but I am going to become the emperor. Gotta cooperate if I want more information on Triage, huh? You're late! Our current mission is to investigate a certain area. Ida? Yes. A faint response has been detected in that area. It's perfect for someone like you who has just awakened. This mission doubles as your training. You will do as I say, and nothing else. Is that perfectly clear? Yes, ma'am. All right. 
Then invite me into your party. The area we'll be heading to is Delta Delicious Pass Weed Eater. Also, just to let you know, it'll just be you and me on this mission. Keep that in mind. Ugh. What was that? No, nothing, ma'am. Like I said before, you will follow my orders throughout this mission. Have you got that? All right already. You! Do you want to end up like Shino? You heard from Yada. You think all you have to do is dangle that? Like master, like servant, huh? It's not funny. How many times do I have to tell you an avatar is a dangerous, hard-to-control power? In that sense, they aren't very far removed from Ida or Triedge. <sighs> we Epitaph users are connected to our characters on a mental and spiritual level. Data drain is the power to alter data. If your avatar goes berserk, that power will flow back into your own character. If that happens to you... Haseo, you may become a lost one too. Okay, okay, I got it. Whatever. Until I can fully control my avatar, I'll do whatever you say. There. Are you happy now? Yes. Be careful, or you'll get pulled into the other side of the hole. Other side? To defeat Ida, first you will need to get its HP down to zero, then perform a Protect Break on it. Protect Break? What's that? You'll understand once you get its HP down to zero. If you get its HP down to zero, then perform a Protect Break. Watch out for indicators that show it's going to attack.
You performed a protect break. You mean we can't defeat it even if we get its HP down to zero? Yes, that's right. To completely immobilize Ida, we need to absorb its configuration data with Data Drain. Data Drain. Don't waste time. We can only use Data Drain effectively when Ida's protection is disabled, like an Ida's protection will recover itself after a while. When the gauge is full, release the button to fire it. Even if your opponent is moving fast, it will stop for a split second. Use Data Drain at that exact moment. Summoning more than one avatar will cause interference and thus increases the chance for them to go berserk. As it is now, the most effective method is to support a single avatar. That again. 
Yes. Don't be careless. Tiger Blade! <laughs> <laughs> That I guess. Don't panic. Tiger Blitz!
Don't panic. You're not getting away! You're not getting away!
It looks like you've gotten gradually better. Now, this is the last part. Yes, ma'am. Yes, this is Pi. Is there a problem? Detected epitaph users? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Understood. We'll take care of it before it gets too big to handle. What's up? The Ida signal in this area is steadily rising. Why? If we knew, we wouldn't work this hard. I had considered the possibility that the Epitaph's power was affecting Ida. But we've got too little data to know for sure. So, we've got to gather more data. Good. You caught on quickly. Just to make it safe, we're going to defeat the last Ida with my avatar. You got it? Roger that. Don't worry. I'll leave everything up to you, ma'am.
Spider Blitz! You're not getting away! Yes, it sure was. But don't worry me like that. <laughs> but it was so much fun, wasn't it? 
What do you mean, fun? Please refrain from doing uh. such a thing next time. What? But I like it! Hey, look out! Get away from there! Even if I call Kuhn now, he'll never make it. Sorry, lady, but I think I've had just about enough of your lessons. Okay, now. Come on. I'm right here! Hey! Ah! Hey! 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 
Hey. Hey, come on, snap out of it. What are you doing? Now wake up! Wake up! Please wake up! I said wake up! Bye! Uh, hi. That's the first time you've called me by my name. Don't scare me like that. Is she all right? Was she injured when she took the blow and tended for me? No, I'm all right. Please don't worry about it. Really? Thank you. By the way, what was that black hole? Was it some kind of bug in the data? Yes, it was. We are part of CC Corp's volunteer support. We heard there was some corrupted data in this area, so we came to investigate. I'm terribly sorry, but we would appreciate it if you would refrain from playing in this area for a while. I understand. Then I will excuse myself for today. Allow me to thank you properly another day. I guess that Avatar fights really can't be seen by regular players. Hmm? What's wrong, Pi? Those two. I think I've seen them before. Hey, are you okay? Did the inside of your brain get data drained too? Shut up! We're going back to town! Okay, okay. Good work, Haseo. I need to go make a report to Master Yada now. You want to come with me? No, no thanks. That's what I thought. Okay then, see you later.
Oh no!
I just have one question. Why are you two so close? <laughs> Those with burning souls are attracted to each other, my friend. Whatever. Well, Heroes the Third came to shop Acorn. Yes! I had never seen a player with such an awesome character. <laughs> I was so moved. And then we quickly became good friends. When I discovered we both knew you, we were quite surprised. Yeah, really surprised. Well, <clears throat> we the great adventurers with burning souls are now ready to take on... see a horizon more mystical than real life it's so well done it gives a true sense of being in a fog effect had to be adjusted so that the color of the sky matches the color of the ocean it's quite difficult um, do you work for a game company or something? Oops! I can't answer a question like that, for I am Pyrrhos III, a man of mystery! Oh, come on, you can tell me! This game has a really beautiful ocean, and some really nice graphics, too. The fog adjustment's impressive. <laughs> you have sharp eyes! These ocean graphics rank among my top three! Piros, 
You do work for a game company, don't you? Hey, I won't fall for a simple trick like that, for I am Pyrrhos the Third, a man of mis- oh, Come on, you can tell me. <laughs> Okay, young man. Y yeah You seem to know something about graphics. Is that your real job? Are you a pro? Well, you see, I... I'm just a high school student. I like to draw pictures. Hmm, so you would like to become a graphic designer in the future, yes? You have great promise in my opinion. I am quite impressed. Well, you see, the problem is... Yes? What is it? You sound as if you've lost your best friend. My parents. They want me to get a regular job as an office worker. They say if I don't go to the college they want, they won't support me anymore. Eh? So, I've been thinking about it a lot lately. Don't think! Huh? <laughs>
strong he is strong I fought him lots of times and I've never been able to beat him you trying again I'm tired with real-world stuff I don't have enough energy to fight monsters I came to the world just so I could see the ocean then solve your problems in the real world yeah right but it's not your spirit's not bur- I'll try my best. Wind moons! Was nothing.
You see, young man? Does that show you what the burning spirit can do? Uh, um, after watching you, I feel like a fool brooding about things. I guess. All I did was complain, but I never did anything. I'm telling my parents I'm gonna be a graphic designer. I'll do my best. Ha! I knew you'd say that! Whatever. So, young man, when you are able to fulfill your dream, we shall meet again! We, the members of GU, will be happy to have you join us! May the stars shine upon you until the end of your journey! You are so cool! Gaspard and I aren't in GU. Great adventure! No matter where the road may lead us, we must journey together again! May the stars shine down upon you till the end of your journey. Hey, that's my line! Bye. 
Adelie? What's wrong? I thought that a day like this might come eventually. Though I always hoped that it wouldn't. After all, you're easily misunderstood by others, and not at all honest. And you've got a mean mouth and a bad attitude. Oh, your eyes look kinda mean, too. Are you trying to pick a fight? Of course not! What I'm saying is that I'm very worried about you. What's wrong? Um, Miss Pie, right. Thank you for coming. So, you're our guide, right? Let's get moving. Understood. Please prepare yourselves and follow me. Follow you? Where? Um, the Moon Tree's headquarters. Both of you were summoned by the Seven Council. What exactly did the two of you do to get into so much trouble? Moon Tree, huh. Summoning both me and Haseo at the same time does pique my interest. Haseo, please invite Miss Pai and I into your party. Let's head for the Moon Tree headquarters. The area words are Delta Setting Eternity's Night Moon.
Okay, this is it. We're finally here at Moon Tree. Everyone from the Seven Council is waiting for you. The Seven Council, huh? It's the governing board of Moon Tree. It's comprised of the top seven member officers in the guild. So, that snob Sakaki is one of them, huh? But all the same, why were we summoned here? Probably. Show him your sincerity, Haseo! If you apologize from your heart, the Seven Council will forgive you! Huh? Apologize? What the hell for? Why should I apologize to someone without knowing what's going on? Ah, don't lose your temper! Calm down! Calm down! Welcome to Moon Tree. Thank you so much for the other day. I'm the Guildmaster, Sokova. Mr. Haseo and Miss Pai, thank you so much for coming here on such short notice. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kayere. I'm terribly sorry we weren't able to thank you properly for coming to aid us the other day. Everyone present here right now is in the position of helping to manage Moon Tree. Moon Tree is comprised of seven units. The members of the Seven Council also serve as the captains of those units. This is the Guildmaster, and also the Unit 1 Captain, Master Zelkova. Sakaki of Unit 2. I am the Unit 3 Captain, Kaede. And Nala is the captain of Unit 4. Hiragi is captain of Unit 5. Sephora, the captain of Unit 6. And Matsu of Unit 7. Unfortunately, Nala, Hiragi, and Sephora could not be here today. But these seven make up the Seven Council. Master Zelkova said he wishes to properly thank you for saving him the other day. Thus, we sent Atali to come get you. Hey, this isn't what you said. Well, I guess I did log into the world without reading Kaede's email very closely. Ugh, that's just like you. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid this item cannot hope to express our gratitude, but please take it. Thank you, but I wonder what the guild master of a guild such as Moon Tree would be doing in a place like that. Oh, I was just there observing. What do you mean observing? It's all well and good that you're so curious. But consider the burden for me, who has to go with you everywhere. I don't see a problem with it. It's fine if Master Zelkova looks around at his leisure. The rest of us are here. We can stay and handle the routine tasks. And what exactly do you mean by that, Sakaki? <laughs> Even though he may be the Guildmaster, Master Zelkova is at the same time just another player. There must be times when he wishes to forget his role and play normally. I am merely suggesting that the rest of us won't have any problems supporting Moon Tree during those times when our Guildmaster is absent. But perhaps I wasn't clear enough. <sighs> Lately, there have been rumors that the Moon Tree Guild is now being run entirely by Sakaki. 
Sakaki's followers have been going around openly saying that Zelkova is just a figurehead. I see. So Moon Tree is split up into the Zelkova faction and the Sakaki faction, huh? Haseo! What? Haseo! You're participating in the arena tournament, right? I heard that the first round fight was great! Ah, uh, it was nothing. Ah, uh, I wish I could have seen it. I bet that your fight was really amazing. <laughs> huh, rumors are just rumors. There's no telling what actually happened. It was probably just a lucky victory. Say that again? Oh, I'm so sorry. Really, I'm just the type who can never tell a lie. Shut up, you stupid yapping dog! What? Who are you calling a dog? You're always following Sakaki around like a helpless puppy. You couldn't look more like a dog if you tried. Why, you? Matsu. All right, fine. You'll find out soon enough. Hmm? Because guess what? You're gonna be facing me in the next round of the tournament. Whoa, really? That's amazing! I'll be sure to come watch! <clears throat> Mr. Haseo, Miss Pai, please allow me to show you the way out. No, we'll find it ourselves. Hey! Hmm? I see you haven't let your ability to anger others go to rust. That doesn't sound like a compliment to me. <sighs> it's your own business if you want to go around making enemies. Let me just say. From now on, refrain from using your avatar in the arena as much as possible. Uh, you're saying the same thing as Kuhn. What I am trying to tell you is that you are drawing too much attention. Like Gabi and Zelkova? Not only did you become famous for your miraculous come-from-behind victory, but guild masters from the two most powerful guilds are interested in you. No telling how many eyes will be on you. Even though avatars can't be seen by normal players. You never know what might lead to someone finding out about GU. In other words, stop doing things that could potentially draw attention to GU. Exactly. It would be bad for you if things like avatars and epitaph users become public knowledge and get in your way of searching for Triage. Fine. Whatever. I'll think about it. Don't just think about it, alright? You need to act on it. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Since we're all done here, I guess I'll be leaving. See you, Haseo. Sure. Man was up with that Zelkova kid? Is he really the guild master for such a huge guild? What a difference from Gabi. Guess I'll log out and check my email or something.
Fight with the captain of Moon Tree's Unit 7, huh?
I'll need to register for the second round fight at the arena counter. Gotta get Adelie and Syllabus.
Win moons! Here goes! Tiger Blitz! Here it 
comes! Okay! Here I come! Ha! Ah! Ah! Wind moves! That again. Course unknown. Passing items for your please. Oink. Oink. Thank you for helping me. Oink.
chase the wind. I'll prove thee. <laughs> This'll be quick!
Are you sure about this? I mean, fighting somebody from your own guild, Adelie? Oh, yes. I got Sakaki's approval. After all, arena battles are different from personal ones. Sakaki, Sakaki, Sakaki. Man, you really listen to everything he says, don't you? Of course I do. Sakaki is a great man. Huh. What's so great about a guy who's trying to ruin his own guildmaster? Sakaki's not! He isn't like that! Where there's smoke, there's fire, you know. Huh? You just eat up whatever Sakaki tells you, don't you? In the end, you're always just spouting off someone else's opinions. Hey, maybe you should watch your back out there. Knowing Sakaki, he just might have ordered Adelie to hold back on purpose. All right, Haseo, quit it. That's going too far. Oh, well, it doesn't matter even if you do hold back in this fight, seeing how I'm going to win regardless. I'm surprised Sakaki can't even see... what you say about me, Haseo. But please, stop saying bad things about Sakaki. You! Haseo? Good luck! Let's have a great match! So it begins. The match everyone is waiting for, second round of the Demon Palace Tournament! Today's commentary will be from Moon Tree's Guildmaster. Hi, everybody! I'm Zelkova! I hope that you'll enjoy the match along with me today! All right, this match is shaped up to be between Moon Tree and Canard. What are you looking forward to seeing, Mr. Zelkova? Well... I'd love to see the come-from-behind technique Haseo showed us in his last match! Are you sure about that? If he comes from behind, then that means Matsu will... Oh! They're here! It's Haseo! Adelie... Hey, hey, pay attention. What are you acting all laid back for? I'm gonna show you just how different you and I really are. Get ready to fight! Let's go! against Moon Tree's Maverick, Matsu. I don't know. Matsu isn't fighting seriously yet. This is kind of nice. Hmm? I haven't had this much fun in a while. What are you talking about now? Don't tell me you're giving up already. Hardly. The real fight's just beginning. 
What do you mean? Aren't you fighting seriously? A long time ago, Matsu used to be a famous PK known as the Flame Sword Demon. When he came to join Moon Tree, he sealed away his main weapon. And he did this in order to separate himself from his past. Forget the lucky victory stuff I said. But it still doesn't change the fact that you're gonna lose! Okay. From now on, I'm fighting for real. <gasps> Unbelievable! This is an unexpected surprise! Could this spell trouble for Team Haseo? Yes, that's right. His main weapon of choice is a broadsword. That's the same one he used during his PK days. Flame sword. So you've been holding back until now. Perfect! Show me what you've got! Here I go! Haseo of Canard has defeated Matsu, the Maverick from Moon Tree. Now then, Mr. Zelkova, what do you think of this match's result? Huh? What the? He's gone! Mr. Zelkova, where are you? Where did you go? Well now, this is an interesting development. I didn't expect for you to be this good, Haseo. I guess the perfect time to move the pawns into position has finally arrived. <laughs> Are you satisfied now that your darling Haseo has finally won? I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. I used my forbidden weapon. I'll take the heat. I bet you would be relieved to have a troublemaker like me leave your precious guild moon tree, right? So, are you satisfied? Huh? You've been looking for a chance to throw that weapon away all this time. The reason you couldn't do that was because you had never come across anyone strong enough to truly test your skill with it. Now that you fought Haseo, you must be truly satisfied. In that case, throw that sword away and be reborn to become the real Matsu of Moon Tree. Yeah, it's just as you say. You're right, Master Zelkova. I have no regrets. Hey. Haseo, that was a pretty good fight, wasn't it? Yeah, whatever. You just wouldn't go down. <laughs> Got something for you. We'll just call this a little something to remember this day by. If you feel like it, go ahead and use this sword. Later. 
I don't want this! Damn. He's gone. Um... Uh, uh, thank you for another great match! Hey, Adelie! I guess what happened in the waiting room is still bothering her. <sighs> Bye.